Right, guys, if you are looking for a 4-3-3 tactic for FM24 to get you over the line in your save until the new game is out, then you need to look no further than today's video. We have the best 4-3-3 in the game in my opinion it's a fan favorite from gyr it is the master of puppets and we are back today for version number three we have tested this at all levels of the game we gave it to hampton and richmond who were in the national league south ladies and gentlemen they won the title and they won the FA Trophy as well. We gave this to Fenerbahce over in Turkey. They won the league with an unbeaten season. And the biggest test of all, we gave it to Tottenham. Tottenham, and they won trophies. It's absolutely ridiculous. They won the Premier League with 89 points. They won the Emirates FA Cup as well. If we have a look at that, you can see they beat Liverpool in that Emirates FA Cup final. And even then, Gakpo scoring in the 91st minute is a bit cheesy, winning it an extra time thanks to Brennan Johnson. But if we take a look at the Premier League performance as well, 27 wins, 8 draws, 3 losses. Those 3 losses coming against Everton, Manchester United, and then a silly loss to Burnley. Hyunmin Song comes second in the Golden Boot race behind Mr. Erling Haaland. 14 assists from right back for Pedro Porro. He also picked up a lot of yellow cards as well, but that is to be expected with the tackle harder meta in this year's game. If we take a look at things in in this Tottenham save from the data hub perspective you can see 2.82 goals per game is pretty good 2.26 non penalty expected goals which is really really nice to see scores a high number of non penalty expected goals per 90 minutes compared to the average which is just what you want to see and as you can see performing well above average statistically as well lots of shots keeping them on target as well and a good pass completion ratio as well we're going to go through and break down this tactic with Tottenham so that you get everything in the game as you would expect but I'm just going to show you some of the stats of some of the players around the season uh, as you can see Hyunmin Son top goal scorer for the club 20 goals in all competitions for him but there's also 20 for Brennan Johnson 18 for Kulievsky 17 for Madison and Richarlison respectively and even Manuel Solomon got himself seven and then when you look at the assists as well if we sort by assist Pedro Porro 15 in all competitions 15 for James Madison. He had a superb time in the midfield. 11 for Udoji. Uh, and then we've also got 10 for Johnson and uh, Pepe Matasa. Uh, so absolutely killing it. Sharing the ball around the team. There's no one focal point. Everyone in this team will get you goals. If we go and have a look at the tactic, this is the 4-3-3 with the Spurs best 11 picked in it. I'm just going to make sure it is. Yes, this is how we are set to line up. As you said, it's a 4-3-3. Looks pretty good. Works very, very well. And with a couple of additions, I think this, this could go even better than it has done in this particular test. It'd be interesting to see if we did carry this on, how Tottenham would adapt to life with it in the back in the Champions League. But we're going to go through and break down every role and instruction that you guys need to get this in your game if you are on pc or mac there will be a download link in the description if you are on console if you just follow every single instruction i'm about to give you then you will have the exact same tactic but this wouldn't be possible without the always amazing gyr his links are down in the description as well please do go and show him some love as he is my tactics guru uh, we're going to start off in goal then we have vicario he is a sweeper keeper on defensive duty guys with nothing additional on him moving into the back line we have the two fullbacks they are both with the same instruction set they are both fullbacks on attack duty with the additional instructions of take more risks cross from the byline dribble more stay wider and tackle harder you know which ones are the additional ones guys with the white cog and the red circle attributed to them and you get to them via the edit menu here so you can see stay wider is selected there tackle harder there shorter passing directness cross from the byline take more risks and dribble more both of the fullbacks have the exact same instruction set guys so if you need to pause it at any point to make sure that you get all of these instructions down please make sure do so moving into the two center backs they are both ball playing defenders again with the same instruction set there's a lot of balance and a lot of symmetry to this particular tactic they are both ball playing defenders on defensive duty dribble more and tackle harder on the pair of these and then at the base of the three in midfield we have a defensive midfielder on support duty dribble less and tackle harder 
on Basuma here. Now, moving things forward slightly, we have one of the most customizable roles in Football Manager. It is the central midfielder on support duty. Basically, this as default gives them absolutely nothing, and then you can highly customize it in terms of the player instructions. These are both central midfielders on support duty, guys, with the additional instructions of take more risks, dribble more, get further forward and tackle harder so when you're in possession because of having to get further forward these boys will bomb forward and you will have a front five effectively especially even seven with the fullbacks filling in on attack duty as well moving into that final third we have two inside forwards on attack duty guys with the additional instructions of sit narrower tackle harder and mark tighter the idea with this is that the inside forwards do sit a little bit narrower kind of on the edge of the box here which then allows the fullbacks on attack with their stay wider to get up and cross from the byline it is kind of to try and overload in these areas but also these this is why these inside forwards score so many goals because they're in the box when the ball is in these wide areas and finally completing things off we have our advanced forward on attack duty that is of course Hyunmin Son he is an advanced forward on attack with tackle harder on him now I know you guys are saying tackle harder yes guys it's the meta in this year's game I don't know why it is it just is in terms of the tactical style g has just saved this as the master of puppets three it doesn't matter which one of these you personally select guys we always go with a gagan press and then as long as you follow the instructions down below as i'm about to give them to you you will have the exact same system so honestly it doesn't matter with tactical style because even here if i go and i select park the bus which is saying players will look to get behind the ball and protect their defensive third if i put it on an attacking mentality or a very attacking mentality that's not park the bus is it so it doesn't matter the words that are saved here it is an attacking mentality this tactic you are looking to play on the front foot and in possession this is how we are set up guys narrow in terms of that attacking width passing into space in terms of our approach play shorter passing directness and a higher tempo also with the approach play the idea with the balance of this is that we're not focusing it anywhere and it just allows everyone to get involved low crosses into that final third though and we are running at the defense in terms of our dribbling style in transition this is how we are set up to counter press when possession has been lost and to counter when possession has been won now this is where i said with the get further forward on the two center midfielders they make up a front five and they're joined by the fullbacks to make a front seven when you are in attack kind of really trying to get those goals in terms of our distribution we are distributing to our center backs here via the distribution type of rolling it out to make sure that we stay in possession ladies and gentlemen and out of possession this is how we are set up a high press with that line of engagement a much higher defensive line triggering that press much more often preventing that short goalkeeper distribution and the defensive line is set to step up more the goal of this tactic is to be in your opposition's half as as much as possible it is a high defensive line every now and again i'm sure you will get caught with a ball over the top but the idea is that you are pressing you are turning the ball over again in these high areas and being able to create those opportunities for you to score goals we do have a video on set pieces as well if you do want to check that out on the channel i'll leave a link to that down in the description um but this is the 433 gyr's master of puppets v3 this is my favorite 433 that g has put out and now we have the best version of it for the remainder of fm24 hopefully you guys enjoy it if you want to check out more tactics on the channel check out the playlist popping up on the screen now that is every single tactic that we've released in this year's game